Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the GPU Technology Conference in Silicon Valley, and today at Mellanox booth, I've got Scott Schultz. Scott, are you having a good show this week? You know, we're having a great show. Already the first day, we've had more traffic at the Mellanox booth than we've ever had at any, any other GTC conference. It's actually remarkable. Well, I, I'm not surprised given what's going on, but maybe we should, uh, for folks who don't know, who is Mellanox and who do you help here in the AI space? Yeah, so, uh, so Mellanox is a high-speed uh, interconnect company. We have InfiniBand and, and high-speed Ethernet connectivity, complete offload technology. So unlike any other technology, what we can do is offload uh, away from the CPU yeah. and bring, bring more of the functionality and capability onto the network. And so we free up uh, the, the CPU and whatnot to be able to actually do other tasks, work on your application. Well, what are you showing this week here? So uh, really what we're highlighting uh, this week is, uh, is Sharp. And so Sharp is a scalable hierarchical aggregation reduction protocol that uh, rolls right off the tongue. Um, but, but basically what this is, is the, it's one of the first iterations of, of intelligent in-network computing. And so you know the latest trend and what, what now Mellanox is really getting a lot of attention in this space is around our capability to be able to, uh, to treat the network as a coprocessor and be able to offload elements of all reduce uh, explicitly for AI and machine learning, right, to be able to increase by, by more than 2x or more for all reduce operations, basically using the network as, as a parameter server, if you will, and being able to fully utilize the bi-directional bandwidth of, 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 the, of the switch. Well, this is all about speed, then, for doing this AI, like inference and machine learning? Absolutely, and, and especially for deep learning, right? So to, in order to build these models, you go through numerous uh, uh, iterations of, of just huge data sets. And, and so, uh, you know, being able to actually open up uh, full throttle, if you will, right? The Mellanox uh, uh, interconnect um, really reduces the, uh, the amount of, of training. The, it, it, it brings faster time uh, to, uh, to insight to your data. Uh, so being able to build robust models to be able to inference against. And then, of course, you know, aside from the InfiniBand, which is basically traditionally used in all of the deep learning and edge computing and, and these types of things, we also have, uh, we're also showcasing our Spectrum, um, Spectrum 2 switching uh, capabilities here as well, right? It's one of the fastest Ethernet switches um, on the market. Yeah, that's the HDR switch, yeah? Uh, the Spectrum 2 is, is, runs at HDR type speeds, 200 gigabits a second, but it's Ethernet. Wow. While, while InfiniBand is what we call HDR. Okay, gotcha. And so what's really interesting as well about, the, about that um, InfiniBand switch is, is now it's 40 ports, right? It used to be 36 ports. And now the building blocks are 40 ports at 200 gigabits. But you can actually physically change the logical connection of that one port into two logical ports. So now you've increased the radix to 80 ports and you can run at HDR100 to actually service most of the platforms today are still based on Gen 3. And, and so this really extends the, um, a, a very cost-effective building block footprint into the data center. Now, Scott, I know you get this question a lot, but what, what is RDMA and why does it matter to these AI folks here? You know, that's the eighth question I've had today, the same question. Yeah. You know, oddly, uh, year after year, uh, we, we come to the show and, and people are very much aware of, of RDMA, but, but that's a handful of people that are, are, are developers and whatnot. Um, but it really, we, we, we get this question, what is RDMA? What, what is RDMA and, and you know, what, what, what separates Mellanox from the rest, you know? Um, so, you know, having the capability of doing remote uh, a DMA, uh, basically moving data directly from, let's say, the GPU memory, in one server, mm -hmm. all the way across to another uh, server, and being able to do direct data placement into that GPU memory without having the CPU having to do multiple copies is really a fundamental advantage of InfiniBand. And, and oddly enough, people are just now asking the question, so what is RDMA? And, and why does that matter? And you know what? It, it really matters because you can actually reduce the footprint, the, the amount of servers that you actually need okay, in your data center to achieve a certain level of performance. Okay. With RDMA, you can use, let's say, half of the amount of equipment, the, the half of the amount of, of the footprint in the data center okay. in order to achieve, achieve that same level of performance. Yeah. And now the bells go off and people are like going, oh, well, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. No. And, you know, thank you for your time. And they, yeah. you know, they just, uh, they're, they, they, now people are really starting to be excited about it. Yeah. 
basically have to spend less money to get the same amount of work done. Hey, that that's what it should be about, right? Yeah, right.